Hey, this is Sam from Sure. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about settings conflicts. This is a part two video that digs a little bit deeper into how users can apply settings from offline devices to online devices in Wireless Workbench 6. In part one of this video series, I talked about how users could manually take the settings from an offline device they've pre-configured and apply that to an online device when they show up to the venue. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how users can connect to their devices first, uh, and then later when they're not connected, make a bunch of changes and have those changes automatically prompted to be applied the next time they connect to their devices. So you'll notice in my inventory, I've got a bunch of different devices, a bunch of different channels that correspond to a show I'm, let's say I'm working on later today. And I show up to the venue in the morning and I connect to all these devices, there they are, and uh, we do a line check and I realize, oh, I gotta make some settings changes, but it's time for lunch. So when we take lunch, uh, I disconnect from all my gear, which I'll simulate here by just connecting to um, a different network and you'll notice all my devices fall offline, that's okay. Um, so this is like me being disconnected from the gear during a lunch break. And I remember, you know, during the line check, I had to make some changes. Let's say I can coordinate new frequencies, which I'll just simulate by changing uh, these settings here arbitrarily. And, uh, you know, whatever other changes I want to make, I can. I'll change channel names here just so that you can see uh, how this would look. So the changes that I just made sort of simulate the adjustments I would make when I'm not directly connected to my gear. But now after lunch, we're going back to the venue, connecting all of our uh, computers up to the network again, and I want to make these changes that are right now preserved in an offline sort of configuration in wireless workbench, I want to make sure they apply to the actual devices themselves. So this is another version of the settings conflict application. So what I can do is uh, just connect to my network uh, as I would normally when I show back up at the venue, and a wireless workbench knows that these specific devices are actually physical devices. They're not virtual and added, you know, just from the add new devices dialog. They actually correspond to physical devices. And when I connect back to this network, wireless workbench is going to say, hey, this online device I see has different settings than this offline version of that exact same device. And you'll notice without any other work, I'm prompted to say, hey, these settings conflicts need to be resolved somehow. Do I keep settings from the online devices or from the wireless workbench offline configuration? Um, now, what I can do is if I know that all of the changes that I've made, uh, I've made offline to wireless workbench and I want to keep those changes, I could just go ahead and click wireless workbench and apply to all. But what I can also do is expand this detailed options here and see all of the devices for which there is a change. Uh, so for this uh, AXT400 JLO, um, I see I've got some changes as well as for this Axiant digital receiver. Uh, one thing I want to call out is the changes to these devices can be to a couple different, ca we've categorized the types of settings uh, that there can be changes to, either frequency settings or device settings. Think of frequency settings as like frequency, group channel, anything that corresponds to the frequency the device is tuned to. And then device settings is more like uh, other properties, channel name, other attributes of the device, certain operational parameters that don't correspond to frequency. So you see I have the granularity to pick and choose uh, between frequency and device settings for each of my devices if I want to take maybe just the frequency settings uh, from wireless workbench and then keep all the device settings from the offline, from the online device. So in this case, I'm just going to keep everything from wireless workbench um, and apply that to all. But I just wanted you to notice that in order to trigger this change for multiple devices, I didn't need to manually drag or drop anything. Wireless Workbench already knew that these, the offline and the online versions of these devices were the same thing, and it prompted me to resolve these settings conflict. And the reason it did that was because I had already discovered those devices first in Workbench. So this is a really helpful thing uh, for users to know. All they need to do is connect to their gear first, and then they can uh, disconnect and make all the changes they want and quickly apply uh, a number of settings conflicts to multiple devices all at once straight away from Workbench. Now, I just want to call this orange triangle. You might see, you know, what's going on here. All this is saying is there's a pending merge, a pending settings conflict that you may need to resolve. And before you resolve that, um, we're not going to let you interact with this device. Wireless Workbench just wants to be sure which settings you actually want to keep before you proceed. So showing this little triangle here just indicates to me, oh, okay, I've got to resolve the settings conflict. And once I apply, you'll notice everything goes away and my wireless workbench parameters are persistent. So that's a little bit of a deeper dive into settings conflicts and how you can resolve them for multiple devices by connecting to your systems uh, ahead of time.